Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. In this session, we will see how can you run a free HANA trial instance in the cloud. Now, SAP is providing a business technology platform instance for HANA. And you can go ahead and start your free trial today itself. And this is particularly used if you are willing forward to learn SAP HANA core concepts or modeling concepts, or perhaps you would want to learn native HANA development with Access Advanced Architecture, or also you want to develop a simple HANA uh, database content which you want to consume from SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's get started and see how can we create a free instance on HANA trial. So let's get started and I will switch over to the system. So here I've created already a business technology platform account. And once I go to my trial sub account, I would find the dev space. So I have a dev space. So let me go inside the dev space. So whenever you go to uh, a cloud platform trial, system automatically starts a sub account and a dev space inside that sub account. And this is where now we have SAP HANA Cloud as a service, which we can choose. And we can now create a new instance for the same. Now, just to note and remember that you should not have any other instances of HDI uh, running in your system. Like in my case, I have already an HDI instance, which perhaps I have to uh, delete. So just be careful if you are already doing some native cloud development uh, with Node.js or Java, and that would have generated an HDI instance or service binding using Capm, then you need to just remove that uh, just to be double sure that you know you don't have it so that you can start a new instance and then you can perhaps create multiple containers inside your uh, HANA instance which we will create in a moment so let me just delete this HDI service because in the trial we have very limited uh, uh, limited resources available for our account and we don't want these resources which are occupied uh, interfere with our new instance so now I'll switch over to HANA Cloud service and we can create a new HANA shared instance. So let's click on create. It would navigate you to a different page where you have to just log in once by providing your user ID in uh, user ID for linkage. And once you provide your user credentials, then it would navigate you to create a new uh, HANA trial instance in a simple workflow. So now we it is automatically selected my sub account and my dev space a instance name we can give an instance name here so let me choose hana db and i say my hana instance trial and if you come down we it will ask you a, a password for master database so db admin will be a default user which will be created inside your database and uh, you will give here a password which you want to uh, want to give. So let's okay. I by mistake closed it. Let's say HDB instance or my HANA, and now we will give you a password. Yes, and go to step two. And of course, we don't have any possibility to change these parameters. And then we also allow all the IP addresses to come and connect because if you're willing to do integration with SAP uh, SAP adapter for analytics cloud, then maybe you want to whitelist that or you wanted to right now go with everything. So next, I don't want to create a data lake at the moment and I can say create instance. And you can so, see now it's creating a new HANA instance for name called HANA DB and you're going to get free 30 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage here with HANA and in a few minutes it will create and start my instance and then I will resume the video to show you how do you connect to this HANA instance. All right so that's it you can see the instance is now ready let's refresh the status and we should see in a moment that my HANA instance is now running in the cloud. So how do you connect and check the artifacts inside the HANA instance? So you can switch to actions and then you can say open in SAP HANA database explorer. And this would launch the explorer tool which can be used to maintain and view 
all the runtime artifacts and containers inside of your HANA database. So it's starting now and there you go. So here you can find all the list of containers which are inside your HANA DB instance. Perhaps in the past I had two, one for SAP Analytics Cloud Integration and one for my cloud application programming training. But right now I just get rid of all of them. And in our next video, we will learn how to set up a new demo database into the cloud and run that demo database with Capum into SAP HANA. So I hope you enjoyed this video of how to set up your HANA database instance and I will see you in my next session. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.